Hi team, and welcome back to the Radical Rundown. My name is Brian Buckosh, core design engineer for Brunswick Bowling, and today we're talking about the two newest symmetrical cores in the Radical lineup. Those are the Payback and the Bigfoot. Both of these cores are symmetrical, but you'll notice there are actually some big design differences in them. We're going to throw a couple new core terms at you, so put your thinking caps on, because today we're going to talk about axial symmetry and mirror symmetry in symmetrical core designs. Starting here with the Payback, this is a core that you guys are already familiar with. This is a mid-diff symmetrical core that has axial symmetry. And don't get too caught up in what these terms mean. Don't get too bogged down by what they sound like. Just take them at face value. Axial symmetry means what it sounds like. About the pin axis, this core has the same amount of mass on average all the way around it. No matter what the drilling angle is on your dual angle layout, or in other words, no matter where you put the CG on this core, you're going to drill into relatively the same amount of mass because your fingers on a pinup layout are going to be relatively in this area and the thumb is going to go through this band. If you rotate it by using a smaller drilling angle, you still go through the same amount of mass with your fingers and the same amount of mass with the thumb. So relatively speaking, you're always taking out the same amount of mass and thus, no matter how you spin this axis, this core is the same. That is axial symmetry. On the other hand, we have the Bigfoot here. The Bigfoot core has the same upper knob that helps the drill differential of the ball because your fingers are going to drill into the top of the core and miss the knob, maintaining the differential after drilling. That's the same here for the payback, but you'll notice that we have these knobs on the sides. Really what these are are moment arms. And even though there are four of them, they're on the primary axes of the ball, meaning two of them are coming out and away from you, and two of them are on the sides. Remember, what makes a ball symmetrical is the average of mass all the way around. So the moment arm on the left and the moment arm on the right are going to balance each other, and the net result is zero. So the mass is still equal all the way around. Same for the front and the back moment arm. Now, what makes this core very unique for a symmetrical ball is the fact that these knobs, the moment arms, they're placed here very specifically with intent. So when you drill the fingers in on a pinup layout and you drill it into the thumb, of course you're going to hit one of these front knobs. Because you're only hitting the front knob and not the back on a layout like a max flip layout where your drilling angle is about 70 degrees, then you've created some asymmetry in the ball. But the difference with Bigfoot is, because this moment arm is out so far, you're able to create more intermediate diff with the thumb than you would on a standard symmetrical ball. On a standard symmetrical ball with axial symmetry like this payback, if you use a drilling angle of about 70, you're going to put the thumb in line between the pin, the CG, and that's going to put you about in the theoretical mass bias, about 6 and 3 quarters from the pin in the band of the core. What that's going to do is that's going to give you about 10 to 12 points of asymmetry in terms of intermediate diff. Because the knob on the front of this core, this moment arm, is out so far relative to the band on the payback, on the big foot, you can get about 19 points of intermediate diff. That is a significant difference in the motion at the back of the lane. As I said before, a 70 degree drilling angle on Bigfoot is going to put you in the theoretical mass bias, which puts the thumb right through the middle of this moment arm on this core. Now, if you use a much smaller drilling angle, say 30 degrees in this case, what you're going to do is you're going to swing the CG out to the right, and you have the ability to put the thumb right in the 45 degree where there is no moment arm, where there is no knob on the side of this core. So instead of driving the intermediate up a bunch, you're going to get a lot less intermediate diff in this orientation, about eight points of intermediate diff, as opposed to the standard 10 that you would get on this core in any drilling angle orientation, or the 19 that you get when you drill into the moment arm on this core. So the difference between 8 points of intermediate diff and 19 points of intermediate diff means that selecting the drilling angle on this symmetrical core is actually going to change the motion quite a bit, where you'll have a much smoother, much calmer motion off the back of the pattern with the orientation in a 30 degree drilling angle compared to a 70 degree drilling angle orientation in which you're making a lot of intermediate diff and making a much sharper motion off the back of the pattern because of it. All right, so that's going to do it on this episode of the Radical Rundown where we talked about the versatile drilling options by changing the drilling angle on this Bigfoot core to give you a sharper or smoother motion. This core has mirror symmetry where most symmetrical cores have axial symmetry. 
If you have any questions about this or other information about cores in the Radical lineup, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. I'm happy to respond when we have time. And of course, make sure you check out all of our social media pages, Radical Bowling, on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. I'm Brian Buckosh, and this has been another episode of The Radical Rundown.